All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. So why was it that Michael Anthony and Eddie Van Halen weren't able to uh, make amends toward the end of Ed's life? This is kind of one of those baffling questions. You know, I ask questions about how come Steve Perry and Neil Sean can't go out and have a cup of coffee? They don't have to perform. They don't have to write music. They could just hang out. Why isn't that happening? You know, especially when a guy says, hey, I really love that guy, but doesn't mean I want to work with him. Well, does it mean that you can't go out and have a coffee with him? I mean, in the case of Michael Anthony and Eddie Van Halen, um, a lot of this dates, uh, dates back to 2004 when uh, Michael Anthony was asked to participate in that ill-fated uh, reunion tour with Sammy Hagar, and the tour did not go well, um, but he was told, yeah, you can, you can be in this. You just have to sign your rights to the Van Halen name and logo away, and you have to take a significant pay cut. So basically, uh, Michael Anthony became a hired hand which is just, I don't know how you justify that. And I don't know how you as that individual who has to do those things in order to be a part of the tour thinks to yourself, gee, they don't think very much of me, even though I'm the original bass player, even though um, my singing style has been praised up and down by critics, um, and people in the organization, whether it's David Lee Roth or Sammy Hagar or Ted Templeman, who talked about how important Michael Anthony was to the sound of that band, no question about it. But yet now I'm being told, hey, you're kind of like a second class citizen. Um, I don't know how you recover from that, but Michael Anthony, and I've met Michael Anthony um, at a chicken foot gig years ago. Um, he just is a regular dude. He's a nice, humble, regular dude. And he said, okay, I just want to do this for the fans. Um, this is going to be a big deal. And obviously things didn't go well, especially if you listen to what Sammy Hagar has to say about the way that tour went down. Um, toward the end of Ed's life, it could have been that Ed was just embarrassed at that era and couldn't find a way, couldn't humble himself enough, couldn't just look at the situation and say, yeah, I've got to make this right. Maybe he just felt too guilty about it and didn't want to open up that can of worms and all that emotion that would have gone with it. Or uh, there could have been some other underlying difficulty that um, he had with Michael Anthony. I'm not sure. Uh, Sammy Hagar uh, did this famous video called In Defense of Mikey uh, that went very viral in the earlier days of YouTube. And I remember watching it going, whoa, this is an off the hook smackdown of all of the things that you um, would think about <clears throat> when it comes to Michael Anthony and how he was mistreated. Uh, it's just a shame because, again, I think Michael Anthony, like Sammy Hagar, was trying to reach out to everybody, and pretty much everybody was kind of ignoring um, him when he was reaching out. The only thing that looked kind of positive was that kitchen sink tour, where even Wolfgang said, hey, we're going to bring back Michael Anthony for sure. And Wolfgang had a lot of positive things to say about Michael Anthony. Was he speaking on behalf of his dad and uh, his uncle? Don't know. But um, if anything, they should restore all of his income and uh, everything that he deserves because he was an essential part of the Van Halen legacy and people shouldn't be taking that away from him. Uh, in addition to that, he just seems like a really cool guy, you know? Um, and I think he went through enough, you know, um, taking the pay cut and basically becoming a hired hand, which is really pathetic. 
So anyway, I'm not sure if that has anything to do with the end. It's just a shame. I know Michael Anthony has done a couple of interviews where he really feels bad that he wasn't able to reconcile with Ed before Ed passed. And uh, it's a really tough situation to be in. In any event, um, thanks for watching the videos. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, Patreon. I've got special stuff on Patreon if you're interested for patrons only. Uh, you can do that for as little as a dollar a month if you want to give two bucks, five bucks, ten bucks, whatever you can afford. Uh, it is much appreciated to keep this channel going. Uh, we are in kind of the lean time of the year, financially speaking. So uh, any dollar you can contribute helps. And um, obviously, I'm branching out a little bit. You'll find that out when you visit Patreon. Thanks again, and I will see you soon.